going somewhere? Oh! Hey, Brandon, yeah, I didn't mean for you to find out this way, but I got so excited, I just, I guess, I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> You're not actually moving, are you? Yes. What? Yes, I found out about this new place, Brandon. It's, it's, it's my dream town to live in, where, where it's fun all the time. It's always exciting. You'll, I'll never get bored or sad again. Are you moving to a theme park? No, no, it's an actual town. Oh. Uh, what's the name of the town? Party Town. Party Town. Party Town. You know that's a store, right? What? No. Yeah. It's a town. It's a it's, no, party it's, town. It's a store that sells party no, it's supplies. it's definitely a town. Are you sure? Because yes. I can show you on my phone. No, I no. have pictures. Uh, I Brandon, just... I know it in my heart. I know it in my heart. Uh, Okay. See you later, Brandon. I'm going to my dream town. Okay. Woohoo! Party town, here we come. I gotta be there when he finds out. Hey, John, wait up! <laughs> Hello and welcome everybody to the So and So Show. I'm John. And I'm Brandon. Now it's the start of a new month and you know I can get quite sentimental. Yes. I like to commemorate things. New weeks, new months, new shoes, new piece of food stuck between my teeth. Woohoo! Gross. I know. Fortunately, we aren't commemorating partially chewed food today. Oh. But since this is a new month, July to be exact, what better way to celebrate than with Christmas, Christmas in July. July! So while you may be thinking of going to the pool and the beach and having cookouts in the backyard, we are changing it up and celebrating the very wintry wonderland holiday of Christmas. Yes, so put away your swim goggles and grab your snowshoes. It's gonna be one festive day. <laughs> I'm excited. Me too. I mean, it's like so hot out. I I'm ready for some Christmas fun. Yeah, totally, me too. Hey, let's have a snowball fight. Oh, great idea. And then build a snowman. Do you wanna build? Yes, let's okay, go. great. Woo! How do you build a snowman with no snow? Oh, oh, I've got snow saved up from last winter. Really? Yeah, I've got tons of it. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, hang tight, hang okay. tight. <laughs> you are aware that that is a bucket of water? I am now. All right. Sorry, Frosty. Hey, maybe we can call him Warmy. Warmy? Yeah. Warmy the Puddle Man was a happy, jolly soul. Let's keep going. Maybe something else will work better. Hey, great idea. Hi, Warmy.
That did not work. No, not at all. These Christmas sweaters are so hot. You know, normally they feel so cozy and comforting, but today they make me feel like I'm gonna throw up. It's heat exhaustion. Yeah. Why are we oh, celebrating Christmas in July? I don't know, it's not the same. No. Uh, oh, do I? Yes! Uh, it's Bible story time with Kellen. Oh. Hey fellas, how's it going? So much better. Definitely. Hey Kellen. You guys changed. I was hoping to match you today. Oh no, you look great. We, we looked and smelled pretty bad. Yeah. What is it with Christmas in July? Well, yeah, I guess the attire isn't the best fit, but the Christmas story, now that's worth remembering all year. Oh, good point. And good news for you. That's exactly what's in store for us today with a little bit of help from our very own so-and-so show players. <laughs> Today's story was written down in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2. Now, hundreds of years before our story, God promised to send a Savior for the whole world. So, God's people waited with anticipation for the Savior to arrive, but they had no idea how the Savior would come. Well, at the start of our story, in the city of Bethlehem, an ordinary girl named Mary gave birth to a son. His name was Jesus. Bethlehem was so crowded that the only place for Mary to have the baby was in a place for animals. Can you imagine that? But they weren't the only ones hanging out with animals. There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby that night. At the stars tonight, we really should be watching the sheep. Hey, what are you doing throwing sheep at me? I do keep your sheep on my side. I keep my sheep on my side. We gotta stick together. When you're a shep, you're a shep through and through. You take care of your sheep. It's just what you do. When you're a chef, you may smell, you may stink. You may not be liked on every street. No matter the time, we're always tending flocks. Morning and night, but at least we get fluffy socks. What's that? So sorry to interrupt. Um, I'm not sure how musically synchronized the shepherds were. I expect they were just ordinary shepherds out in the field. Nothing too special about them. And that's why this next part was especially amazing. Let's watch. What's that? Do not be afraid. I bring you good news. No! 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 Do not! No! No! Here we go. You feel frightened, oh so frightened. I'll enlighten and heighten your joy. I bring good news, there's a savior born a baby boy. How are we to know who the savior is? What savior? Where? He'll be swaddled in strips of cloth and lying in a, can I just say it? <clears throat> The baby will be wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. A manger? But that's what animals eat out of. Listen, I'm just a messenger. Trust me, this is good news. It's going to bring great joy for all the people. Stay cool. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what's happening here. The angels and shepherds definitely did not have a snap battle. But suddenly, a large group of angels did appear. May glory begin to God in the highest heaven and may
the shepherds hurried off and found Mary, Joseph, and the baby Jesus. The baby was lying in the manger just like the angel told them. They were so amazed. They went out and told everyone what happened, and they were filled with joy and praised God. The end. Wow, I, I can't imagine just doing my normal everyday job and suddenly an angel appears out of nowhere. I know, right? The shepherds were definitely not expecting that. God could have chosen anyone to announce Jesus' birth to, and he chose them. God entrusted a few humble shepherds with the most amazing and important news of all time. That's incredible. Yeah. Jesus was the Savior that God had promised all those years ago. And no matter who you are, Jesus came to be your Savior. We can all spread joy to others with the good news of Jesus, just like the shepherds did. Thanks. Now that is a good reason to celebrate Christmas in July. Exactly. Well, I'll see you guys later. Merry Christmas and Feliz Navidad. Bye-bye. You know, Jesus came to be our Savior. Talk about joy to the world. Oh, my favorite Christmas carol. What, Deck the Halls? No, joy to the world. Right. Jesus brings joy to the world year round, and he invites us to join him in spreading his joy to others. Yes, so reveal the question. Who do you know who could use some joy? Uh, maybe it's someone you know well, like a friend or a family member who's been going through a hard time. Yeah, or maybe it's someone you see in passing, like in your neighborhood or in line at the grocery store. Oh, that's true. Sometimes something as simple as, as smiling as someone can brighten their day. Yeah. So, who do you know? Jesus brings joy to the whole world, and you get to help spread that good news around. How cool is that? Yeah. I'm Brandon. And I'm John, and this was The So-and-So Show. Merry Christmas, everybody! It's... Uh, what did you get me? Um... No, it's got... No, it needs to be wrapped. Oh. Whatever it oh. is. Here's an ornament. <laughs> Here's an ornament. <laughs> For your enjoyment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. I need someone to come to the front to assist a customer with helium balloons. This is a party supply store. I told you!